I went from having a lot of uh, confidence to where all of a sudden I felt like I was just, you know, going a hundred different directions and I wasn't able to complete anything. And I, the best way I could describe it was like a train that goes and goes and goes. And, and I was, and I would crash. And it just got to where the crashes were, you know, were closer together. I remember thinking, you know, like, maybe being angry because I was young and I couldn't understand, you know, being like, why are you like this? You need to be up, you know, you need to make me food, blah, you know, whatever. Take me to school. I understand it more now, so when I was younger, I guess I was more angry than anything. I'm sad. Sometimes you can't get her out of bed, and it's, it can be kind of depressing to you because you feel like, you know, I can't make them happy, but it's really not them. You know, it's, or it's not you not making them happy, it's just them. They have to, and you have to, like, learn to live with that, I guess. I, I see where I self-medicated myself. You know, I, I have a past um, with uh, drugs and alcohol. And, when, you know, the, there were times when I would just feel so up that I just wanted to kind of come down, so I'd take something to bring me, to level me out. And if I was too down, then I would take something to try to bring me up. You know, just anything to try to feel normal, you know, level. Yeah, I never, I, I, I never experienced what it was like to just be even killed. It was either way high or way low. When she's manic, when she's up, she's up and she's like a mile a minute and that can kind of get on my nerves too because I feel like, like she's just this chaotic, like swarm moving around me, you know? And I'm like, okay, I can't, can't be around anymore because she'll be talking or she'll be doing something or she'll be like really fidgety. Or and like she's like that for a couple of days and then she gets all depressed, you know? When I went through my divorce, I, I wasn't that I wanted to commit suicide, but I was, I was like, you know, I wanted to die. Death would have been easier. The pain, you know, would have, would have been, the pain was too great. Caring for somebody that's not, you know, they can't do it for themselves, but it's just not in the frame of mind to want to help themselves. Having to make sure she eats because she just won't get out of bed, you know, um, make sure she's taking her medicine, uh, which is a very important thing. I would love to just move somewhere where nobody knew me and just would know, get to know me for who I am and, you know, and then later on let them know I have bipolar instead of them going, she's got bipolar, you know, stay away from her. And so sometimes it's just hard to live with her and her be like that and not be able to change it or get away from it. So I think it's better that we don't live next near or in the same house because it definitely makes uh, relationships a lot better. My mom says, she's like, you know, at least you can go away from me. She's like, I can't leave me, so. I've always tried to tell my children or let them know I'm so far from perfect, you know, it's, but I think hearing it and seeing it are two different things.